This is Brent and Stacy Jean Inyon joining you fireside here in Italy. We have traveled deep and wide addressing a question from some of our readers and the subject is stability, family stability. It's a natural question for anyone that's traveling for any extended period of time. How can a family have normal family life in any way with any uh, any degree of consistency or stability if you're on the road. So we'd like to address that question today. So um, I have no idea what I'm going to say. <laughs> That's great because I'll fill in at that moment. If you want to have stability, normally culture tells you that you've got to have the same place, the same foods, the same uh, routines day after day. And so we have to ask ourselves a question. It seems like there's no way to travel, to see different sites, be in different places, eat different foods, and have any degree of consistency. So where does it come from? Or where can you find it if you are a persistent, consistent, long-term traveler? And I think that, thank you, sorry. Um, I think that was the, maybe one of the big concerns that I had before we took off traveling in year 2007, January, we were leaving behind a farm. Brent um, was uh, a goat farmer and we were uh, selling produce in uh, Lancaster County. We were stable according to um, the American definition of stability. We, had a, we were living in a home and we had consistent income every month and we went to the same church and we had the same set of friends. And uh, we took off uh, to do what uh, we never expected to be out on the road nine years later. And as we look back over the last nine years, if anything, when we came together as a family, as a family unit, where for us it was we either hang together or we hang separately, as the, as the, thing, uh, as the proverb says, uh, that we found that the consistency, and here's the key idea we want to get across, is that the consistency we found in travel came from our family unit. It came from within. Yes. If you're going to try to find consistency on things outside employment, schooling, you will find sooner or later that there are things within those, I hesitate to use the word, but institutions that also war against the cohesiveness of a family. So Josiah recently said, we were talking with another family whose child is having some problems with their peer group, and Josiah said, one of the things that I like most about our family life, our large size family life, is that we have been able to create, and he, he counts himself we among this old, the older crowd, have been able to cre create our own peer group. And that's true for families, and it's especially true for families that travel. We have our set of um, beliefs, our family ethos, if, if you will, and that travels with us. The old saying, wherever you go, there you are, is true. So stability, and the things that give your children roots come from within or can come from within your family unit. Our, our family, because we slow travel, we stay in the same places for an extended period of time. A lot of people imagine that the travel life is that you're popping in and out of hotels or youth hostels like a single, and that's not the way we do it, and that's not the way um, most successful long-term family travelers uh, do it. We're here in this fantastic house right now. We've been here for three weeks and uh, most that's a short stay for us. Most of the time we stay anywhere between two weeks is a very short stay. So two weeks to a month to three months and six months uh, when we're, when we're, when we're uh, landing somewhere that we really like. On this trip through Europe we're staying three weeks minimum at each place we go to and it takes us about a day to move into a house and to find stability because our family um, belief system and our family consistency, our family lifestyle just picks up and moves along with us. We have, we do the same thing at bedtime. In our house, Brent's the guy that puts the kids to bed. And so um, there's, everybody brushes their teeth and then Papa's gonna sing with the children, pray with the children, there's Bible stories. And that happens in this home in Italy, it happened in our home in Germany, it happened in our home in France, it'll happen as we go to Greece. That doesn't change, so it's consistent. I want to pick. Did you finish that thought? Yeah. I want to pick up just on something that off of what Josiah was saying about creating our our own peer group in our family. It's also creating 
a base of memories. Uh -huh. And this is yes. one of our favorite family games, is to play, oh, let's make a, or let's, uh, what do we call it? Memory, the memory game. The memory game. game. The children say, let's play the memory game. Uh, where we start one, or you guess where did that, was that memory created? And this is true for homeschoolers and to even a greater degree world schoolers and those who travel long term. Is that as a family you create the memories that stay with the entire family. Not, someone's not off somewhere else creating memories that nobody else shares. We all share it together. And there's something very stabilizing about that. So if you're asking the question, does travel work against stability? We might even ask the question, to staying put in one place where everybody else does their own thing create any kind of stability. And so again, it comes from the vision, the memories, the stories, the beliefs that a family shares within. Uh, we'd encourage you to create your own family memories uh, and really consider how you could in your family uh, create a, a vision for traveling and for creating stability uh, with, within sharing a unity as a family. Just one, one more note for family, for married families with children. Um, I, I think the greatest stability we are able to provide for our children is a mama and daddy who are home full time with our family. And that's the reason that we took off to travel in the first place is that we wanted to not miss life. We didn't want to be, uh, have so many outside expectations that we were gonna miss these children growing up. Even as we were farming, we felt that time slipping through our fingers and we began trying to come up with an idea. How could we get ourselves in a situation where we could spend more time together? And that's the consistency that's in our home. There is a mother and father that are home all the time with our children. So whether we're climbing the ruins in, in Italy or whether we're climbing Mayan ruins in Belize, there is a mom and a dad who are home with these children and those things don't change. The way that we live our family life is stable and consistent across the board.